Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. Recently, we've seen the launch of both the Raspberry Pi 2 and the Banana Pro single board computers. But which is best? Well, in this video, I'm going to do a head to head comparison. Right, well, here we have our uh, Raspberry Pi 2 and our uh, Banana Pro. Both of these single board computers have got various things in common. They've both got a, an Ethernet connector here for networking, wired networking. They've both got um, an HDMI connector for connecting to a monitor. And they've both also got a combined jack carrying composite video and stereo audio. Both boards are also powered by connecting micro USB 5 volts down here. They've also both got display connectors. They've both also got um, camera connectors and they've both got 40 pin GPIO general purpose input output pin headers for connecting uh, things like motor controllers and sensors and running the world via single board computing. So what is different? Well, first thing to note is the processor. On the Raspberry Pi 2, we have got a quad core 900 megahertz Broadcom processor. So effectively 3.6 gigahertz of processing power on the Raspberry Pi 2. Whereas on the Banana Pro, the processor is underneath. Here we have an all winner A20 processor. This is a one gigahertz processor, dual core. So effectively two gigahertz of processing power on our Banana Pro. So we have to give a great big star to the Raspberry Pi 2 in the processor, the CPU department. Right, we think about memory. I uh, should have pointed this out earlier, I guess, because the memory is the same on both boards. If we look underneath, both of them have got one gigabyte of memory here in one chip on the Raspberry Pi 2 and in uh, two chips, two 512 um, megabyte chips on the Banana Pro. So memory is the same, even though Raspberry Pi 2 wins on processing. Let's look then at things like connectivity. As you can see fairly clearly, the uh, Raspberry Pi um, 2 has got four USB 2 connectors, whereas the Banana Pro has two USB 2 connectors, but it also has a USB OTG connector down here. So effectively, we've got um, four USB ports on the Raspberry Pi 2 and three on the Banana Pro. So I'm going to give a slightly smaller star to the uh, uh, Raspberry Pi when it comes to uh, USB connectors. Now, you also might want to connect things wirelessly. If we look at the um, Banana Pro under here, it's actually got an inbuilt um, Wi-Fi module and also a connector for a Wi-Fi antenna. So the uh, Banana Pro has to be seriously ahead when it comes to Wi-Fi connectivity. Now you might say, well, that's not quite fair because you could add Wi-Fi to your um, Raspberry Pi. You could, you could take a Wi-Fi connector, plug it in by USB, and you've now got Wi-Fi um, on your uh, Raspberry Pi too. Uh, that is the case, but then we're down to three USB 2 ports, which is the same as the Banana Pro. So I'm going to give a big star for Wi-Fi to the uh, Banana Pro. The other thing the Banana Pro has got, which is really great, is it's got a SATA connector and a SATA power connector. So you can connect in standard um, hard disks or SSDs directly to your um, Banana Pro. That's got to be a big star for the Banana Pro. Something you can't see by looking at the boards is the support of the user base. And for the uh, Raspberry Pi 2, we've got a massively larger um, installed user base, lots of online support. So when it comes to users and, and support, we have to give a big star to our um, uh, Raspberry Pi 2. But the final thing I point out that the actual Banana Pro is a more featured board. Um, I've pointed out already things like the SATA connector and, and Wi-Fi, but it's also got things like reset and, and power switches. You might not think a big thing, but when you're working on a board, it's good to be able to reset without turning off the power supply. We've also got a microphone. We've also got um, an infrared um, receiver here for running from an infrared controller, so you're making a, a media center. So I've got to give at least a small star for features to the Banana Pro. So you will see we've now come out pretty even so far comparing our Raspberry Pi 2 and Banana Pro. So I think the next thing we'll do is some practical live comparisons. Right, I'm going to launch the latest version of Raspbian for the Pi 2 and the Banana Pro. And there they go, you heard the, uh, the switch there. Raspberry Pi 2, oh, it's already got stuff on the screen. It's a 
for Raspberry showing it's a quad-core processor, um, getting on with things quite quickly. Banana Pro always has quite a, a dull boot screen, although we've got some text now there. A couple of penguins showing it's a, a dual-core processor, but the Pi 2 is clearly going to get there first. Uh, what, 21.6 seconds to get into Raspberry and, and uh, what, 26.6 seconds on the Banana Pro. You'll notice that Raspberry looks slightly different on the different systems, but trust me, it's exactly the same operating system that's just booted up. So, I guess what this test tells us is that the Raspberry Pi 2 is faster than the Banana Pro, we expected that, but it's not as fast in comparison than we might have expected comparing the straight processor specifications. Finally, I thought we'd do a, a second test, which is going to be a test launching LibreOffice, which is quite a sluggish package to launch on a standard Raspberry Pi. It takes about 14 seconds or so on a standard Raspberry Pi to uh, come up when you click on it. So again, I've installed LibreOffice onto our version of Raspbian for the relative machines. Let's see how quickly it can actually run up. There we go. And it's going to be a uh, well, pretty quick, in fact, on both. 4.2 seconds for the Pi 2, 4.8 for the Banana Pro. So again, what we're seeing is that these are both pretty nippy computers. My main conclusion on this is that, yes, the Raspberry Pi 2 is slightly faster, but the Banana Pro is in the same ballpark. Uh, you really shouldn't be too worried about this difference between the quad-core and the dual-core processor for a lot of processing activities. The Raspberry Pi 2 and the Banana Pro are both great single board computers. The Raspberry Pi 2 has the most processing power and also the largest support community. On the other hand, the Banana Pro offers a richer hardware specification, most notably including its SATA port, so making it better for applications that require mass storage. During 2015, I've been making more video projects for both the Raspberry Pi 2 and the Banana Pro. But now that's it for this time, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.